Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm a sales engineer here at Avic. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Avic Virtual Appliance onto a single corporate network. Now, if you're an MSP who needs to install Avic on multiple networks, check out our video called Adding Client Networks to Your Avic MSP Account. It's a very similar process, just with a couple of different steps at the beginning. To start, let's quickly review Avic system requirements, which you can find on our website under Corporate IT and Features. You're going to need a single virtual CPU, 8 gigs of available disk space, 2 gigs of RAM, IE 10 or higher, or Chrome, Firefox, or Safari as your browser, Windows 7 or higher, or Mac OS 10 as your operating system, and finally, your choice of VirtualBox, VMware Fusion, VMware Workstation, or VMware ESX as your supported virtual platform. Now for this example, I'm going to use a MacBook Pro that's running OS 10. I'll use Chrome as my browser, and we're going to use Oracle VirtualBox as our virtualization platform of choice. The very first step to running Avic on a network is to sign up for an Avic trial by clicking on one of the Start Trial Now buttons on our website. After you've completed a short form, you'll receive a confirmation email. When you click on the link in that email, you're automatically logged into your Avic account for the first time, and you'll be presented with an installation wizard. Here's where we begin the process of downloading and installing the Avic Virtual Appliance. Now, following the on-screen instructions, I'm going to click on the Download button. What you're downloading here is the Avic Virtual Appliance, which is packaged as an OVA file. It's about 600 megs in size. The file may take a minute or two to download, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on the Next button. Now, select your virtualization platform from the list. In this case, I'm selecting Oracle VirtualBox. Note how the instructions come up here once I've made my selection. The instructions are specific to the platform that you've chosen. You can also find a copy of the custom installation instructions for each virtual platform on the Avic Knowledge Base. Now, I'm going to head over to my workstation and fire up VirtualBox. From the File menu, I'm going to select Import Appliance. I'll browse to the OVA file I just downloaded and select it. Next, we're going to click Continue. I'm going to make sure that the Reinitialize the MAC Address of All Networks Cards option is selected. This step is specific to VirtualBox. Then I'm going to click Import. Now within the VirtualBox Manager, I'm going to right click on the Avic Virtual Appliance entry that I just imported. I'm going to click Settings and then select the Network tab. From the Adapter 1 entry, I will confirm that the Enable Network Adapter is attached to a bridged adapter and click OK. Once the purple Avic splash screen appears, the appliance will download the latest packages and begin to install them to ensure that you have the most up-to-date version of the software. Once you're at the Avic console window, you should see an Avic status of Running, Connected, and Approved, all in the color green. This indicates a successful installation of the Avic Virtual Appliance. Now, let's head over back to your browser. Back in your browser, you'll notice that the setup wizard has disappeared, and you're taken into your Avic dashboard. You'll start to see a network map of your first subnet being drawn. This concludes the installation of your Avic Virtual Appliance. Thanks for watching.